welcome to day 7 lab 15 in this video we will try to understand that how we can go and push data from c sharp to sql server okay so here's a simple screen which we have already created in our previous classes so we're going to take the screen and whatever data we enter here right so we would like to push data from this ui to this customer table here so if you remember uh, in the previous lab that is lab 14 we had this simple customer table here now there's a problem here this customer table has only two fields here right customer name and country while you know our frm create customer screen has lots of fields right so let's go ahead and create the other fields also so currently we have just customer name and country but you know we also have uh, you know other things like you know male female hobbies and etc so what i'll do is <coughs> let's go ahead and edit this table here so let me go and open the table definition and let's start creating these fields one by one okay so the first field is customer name we already have it here the second field is country name we already have it here the third field is gender male and female so what i'll do is i'll go and put a a gender tag here a gender field here i'm sorry and i'll say okay um, must be i'll just make it uh, and care of male female you know like maximum let's say six characters or seven characters okay now you know my advice would be to go to sql server questions and answers video series now you can see that i have defined here something called as n care you know there are lots of other data types here so we have a we have a separate video on what exactly are these data types so my suggestion would be to please go and see that video you know where we have talked about this data type so in this practical labs you know we are not we are not going to speak about what exactly are these data types and what they do okay so currently i've selected ncare but you can always go and select nware care numeric and other things so my suggestion would be to go to sql server uh, questions and answer series and see the video uh, you know the data types of sql server okay so we have put gender here the next thing what we have is hobbies so let me say hobbies okay let me say n care of 10 and care of 10 status now if you see status right status is more of a it's like a boolean field right you are married then it is true you are if you're unmarried then you are false right so what i'll do is i'll put here the field name as married and i'll make it boolean field so i've, I've created uh, i've taken the data type as bit so in bit right zero is false and one is true so if he's married this value will be one if he's unmarried then this value will be zero okay so let's go ahead and save this table right so what we have done is we have gone ahead and we have created the table structure here and now the next step is we have to go in this screen here and we have to write a code you know by which you know when he clicks on this button here the data is entered into this table so we would like to you know push the data currently you can see that all the data are null here because we have not done anything so these are all previous records which which we had uh, you know created in the in the in the previous day while the other all values are null for now so now let's go ahead to this frm create customer design screen here customer screen here and in this button click right we would like to go and insert data into this table which we have uh, recently updated so the first thing what i'll do is let me go here and now this i'll not create as a preview button but i'll make this button name as submit okay in other words because now this is no more a preview button it's more like a submit button so i've re uh, renamed the button name to submit and here i will say uh, submit to sql server you know this is going to go and submit now and let me double click on this button here so initially if you remember right we had created we had written a code you know which actually helps us to pop up the message box right so you know we are going to use the same code uh, only thing is that we are not going to go and pop up the form so this code right which actually pops up the form i'm going to control x this code and move it outside this function here and uh, currently i'm not going to use it so if you remember right in the previous uh, days you know we had created this code you know which actually helps us to uh, you know take values you know from the option buttons from the text box and put it into a variable here so you can see that if you select the male then this gender is set to male if you select the painting as uh, the hobbies as painting it will select the value as pair you know what you call painting here or else reading so we already had a lot of things here uh, now you know the only thing what we have to do is we have to go and write the adio.net code here right which will insert 
to SQL Server. So that's the only thing we need to do here. Okay. So let's start writing the code. So as we said previously, the first thing is you have to open the connection, right? So this the steps you know of edu.net are all same regardless. You do a you do a select select you do an insert or you do an update or a delete so first let's open the connection second let's create a command which is an insert command and fire it and then finally close the connection now you can see that you know here it's only three steps you know as compared to the previous search you know where we had four steps why these three steps is because here you know we are not expecting any kind of data data after we fire insert you know so you will open the connection fire the insert query and you are done like you know in the previous uh, what you call previous search you know where we had created this adio dotted connection if you remember right just to very quickly to make you glance at the code here you know here it was a four step procedure so we first created the connection then we fired the command and then we actually have to bind that data which we get from sql server but here you know we don't have to do anything like this so it's a three step procedure for inserts updates and delete so wherever there is manipulation of data in other words you know where the data is going from shisha program to sql server you know uh, it's 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 only a three step thing so open the connection fire the command object and then close the connection okay so let's go ahead step by step and write this three lines of code and let's see that if the data is getting inserted into sql server or not now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go and copy paste you know from there so let me just the first step is we are going to open the connection so i'm going to go and copy paste the same thing here because for opening the connection no code changes as such and in the same way for closing the connection also no code changes so these both things are absolutely as it is so you can see that i have just gone ahead and i've copy pasted the code you know from the previous search customer screen code over here now you can see that we are getting some couple of errors here saying that sql connection is not found and that is obvious because we have yet not imported the system dot uh data dot sql client here okay so we're going to import this very quickly right good so step one completed step three completed now remains step two so in order to go and fire the insert query we have to go and create the command object first so let's go ahead and say sql command obj command is equal to new sql command so let's first go and create the object of sql command now the next thing is that inside this command object we have to pass uh, you know our insert query as a command text right so let me go and create a simple string here called as str insert command right so the way we write our insert query here is so the first thing is we'll say insert this is the sql query to go and push data from c sharp to sql server so insert into so what's our table name let's go and see what our table name was so we're going to go and say view server explorer here and our table name was my db was a database name it's a bit slow and our table name was uh, customer table right so let's go here again back to our code so insert into customer table values so what values we want to insert the first value we want to insert is a customer name here so you can see um, over here in the table the first value is a customer name so this customer name we are getting from which text box that is this text box that is txt customer name so if you remember this text box name was txt customer name so let's pull the value from this text box and give it to this command value here the command uh, the insert command text the uh, insert command string here so right we're going to say um, single quotes double quotes plus txt customer name dot text and again we type plus here and we say a single quotes now this plus sign indicates that you know uh, the value what is typed in the text box will be will be concatenated you know with this uh, insert statement here okay so again a comma now you know we will be using single quotes uh, in our sql query uh, you know with, for data which is string so in, in other words for example if you remember in this customer table here 
right all these guys like customer name country gender uh, you know almost every one of them is uh, basically a string here okay a string data okay so we'll be using single quotes to wrap the uh, the data into our sql but wherever you know it is not strings you know for example uh, you know like this bit here or must be numbers right we don't need the single quotes okay but for now for all the things we are going to have single quotes here leaving the bit bit thing okay so we're going to type here txt customer name the next thing is country so again single quotes and uh, now the next thing is this uh, country field here now the country data we are taking from this drop down right so if you remember the name of this drop down it was cmb countries so we're going to go here and say cmb countries dot uh, selected text or else a selected value okay and uh, again a single quotes because at the end of the day country is a string in the same way we will do for gender and hobbies so let me quickly do that plus now the gender and hobbies you know we have taken in this uh, string here called a gender and hobbies right so i'm going to go and um, basically take this data uh, which is there in the gender string if you remember in our previous classes you know whenever wherever you know this radio button was checked we have said that this gender is a male or else he is a female and wherever the the checkbox of painting is checked we have just passed the value as painting or else we have passed the value as reading right so i'm going to just take these variables here which already have those values so first one is the gender so let me just go and coordinate gender over here you know plus again a single quotes comma plus the next thing is the status so again status sorry hobbies you can see at the left, at the right hand side uh, we have already done customer name we have done countries we have done gender now it is time for hobbies so i'm going to say here hobbies again plus single quotes comma single quotes remember whenever it's a string it's a single quotes okay and the last thing what we have to now put the value is married or not married okay now you know this field is not a text field so if i go and open the table table definition if you remember right this field is a boolean field a true and false field right so we don't need to put you know the, the single quote concatenation you know when it comes to boolean and numerics okay uh, but said and done that you know uh, the way sql server interprets boolean is he, he treats zero as false and one as true so what we'll do is you know this status thing what we see over here right you know where the uh, what do you call uh, if if the radio married dot checked is uh, married and it is unmarried we cannot push this data to this boolean field straight forward right because this is a string and sql server is expecting zero and one so rather than using this uh, status string here right what we can do is that we can straight forward use this radio married dot checked uh, you know value so if it is checked you know this returns zero uh, sorry one and if it is unchecked you know then this returns zero so i'm going to take this value as it is from here and i'm going to go and concatenate this value over here with my insert query and i will say plus now you know because we have started with a bracket so we have to go and end with a bracket also here so i'm going to say double quotes the bracket ends and done so now we are all set here we have said insert into the table name the first value is customer name done countries done gender appended hobbies appended and finally also the uh, what you call uh, the married and unmarried status is up appended so now this insert command we're going to pass to this as uh, to this obj command which we have created here so i'm going to go and say uh, it's dr insert command great and i also need to go and connect this command object with the connection object which we have created so i'm going to go and say obj connection and now comes the important step so now we have created the command we have set it to the command object we have created the sql and we have set it to the command object the final thing is we have to go and execute this command so to execute the command we have to say execute non-query see when you know because when we are doing an insert and we are doing an update or a delete you know we don't expect any data from sql server or we don't expect any kind of output from sql server but we are actually going vice versa that means we are pushing data so for that you know we have to use this execute non query in other words you know this is not a query this is uh, you know you know this is just you know a simple insert you know where i'm not expecting any output from sql server as such okay so we have to say execute non query in case if you have you know if you want to go and take data from sql server then you have to use some other things like you know execute reader or probably use the data set which we had shown in the previous example so for now i'm going to say this